So this is what I'm gonna say about the Apple 5. I think it's a it's a great phone. <laughs> um, several key features really stand out to me. The the freaking face unlock is <laughs> freaking fast. Okay, not one plus five fast, but I bet it could compete with how fast the iPhone takes to unlock with Face ID, right? So, although clearly it's not the same technology. Um, the fingerprint sensor is also amazing. You know, it's it's pretty quick. Um, barely. 0.2 seconds I believe on their press statements and then it's believable it's picking fast you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between this and you using a much more expensive phone like a galaxy or something and galaxies actually do take about 0.5 seconds to get unlocked their phones so yeah it's not a bad thing so um, one thing to kind of dislike is the whole iPhone -y interface uh, it's it's not ideal but it works it's fast it's it's working and that's all that counts for me um, this is being shot on a 20 megapixel front facing camera. I did not think I would see this, <laughs> but yeah, we have a 20 megapixel front facing camera shooting at 1080p um, at 30 frames per second, which is pretty good. I'm not complaining. Um, this is a, a, a mid range phone, a lower mid range phone. It's about 30,000 shillings, and that's this is what you're getting. And it's better than what you get with something like the G7 Pro or, or the G5 Pro or even the A5 uh, 2017. So, yeah, I think you should get it. I think you should if you can. Um, there's obviously the stereotypes that come along with, um, um, with having a Chinese phone, an Oppo phone, and you're like, oh my god, it's freaking Chinese. But even iPhones are made in China. So these guys have just picked up everything <laughs> that Apple are doing. Made it uber cheap. Um, their marketing is very different from what Apple does and, and all these companies. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. And I think that if you got this phone, you would not be, uh, like you wouldn't even complain. You would have an amazing time. Um, aside from that, amazing phone i'm here to test the battery life and get to know how much it consumes in terms of battery but hopefully when a couple of weeks uh let me see let me give it give it a week right and i have a trip to naivasha over the weekend i'll be able to know like how good it actually is and from there i i could easily just tell you now before i do like the uber creative cool review i could do something i could just keep on doing these little vlogs uh describing little things i found i find in the software and stuff that i like about the phone right now um but up until now i'm happy i'm i'm enjoying myself you know and that's and that's the most important thing that you're enjoying the experience of the phone it's about experiences and less about like design choices and how much money you put into the hardware and the hardware is good by the way it's fantastic it feels fantastic it feels, reminded me immediately i held it in my hand it reminded me of the one plus five my friend check is one plus five i i used it to do my review and man that phone was amazing and this just that the software is utterly different color os is completely like ios <laughs> but um yeah i think this you should get this phone i genuinely believe you should get this phone if you have that grand laying around i think you should you should avoid samsung and just go and and do, get an oppo and see how it goes um i'll tell you how my my experience goes with oppo if it doesn't work out well and good if it does then i'm happy to have a good phone right like anyone else all right till next time this is me peacing out